Hi, Scorpio. This is your love reading. Let's see what messages come through for you. Scorpio, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter and Sun. In the Department of Love for Scorpio. These readings are general, so they may not resonate with your situation. Never try to force a reading on your situation, right? If the message is meant for you, it is going to connect naturally. Beautiful. Let's tune in and see what's coming up. Ooh, okay. Ace of Wands flipped up. We'll keep it back and see if it's coming back. Maybe you are not completely ready yet for this kind of opportunity. But something is coming up. Okay, let's tune in Scorpio and see what's happening here. Wow, three of cups. Con you can call it reconciliation, gathering, meeting, meeting somebody new, friend circle, enjoying, right? Simply meeting your loved ones. This can be a gathering, a social event. For the rest of you, this is reconciliation, talking again, right? Feeling very happy about something. Especially because uh, there was some situation which was burdening you, right? You were thinking about it, you were carrying it like a baggage for some of you this is just a memory that that was making you feel very heavy right but i see good times ahead so let's see what was the recent past for scorpio chariot four of wands and the justice now this is very interesting for some of you, you met somebody, there was a conversation and that, that was simply a connect. The moment you look at this person, the moment you looked at them, it was an instant connect. I think the similar message we had for Scorpio earlier also, right? But then what something happened and you realized that this is not the thing I have to invest in, right? I see you in the beginning were very determined to work over something and then suddenly you were like, Okay, I can work, but with some kind of balance, with some kind of equal connection here, right? Four of Wands, there was something definitely which was passionate and that was attracting you, potential relationship. For some of you, it was a short-lived connection. For the rest of you, this can be a relationship, a long-term bond or a commitment marriage. But then some things have to be balanced. So justice energy... For very few of you, I'm also getting here that in the recent past, there was some kind of separation or breakup, right? So let's see how is the situation progressing. We have the Queen of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. So this is you. Oh my God. Very interesting, Scorpio. This is you. I see this is your energy, especially if you are a Scorpio female. Your energies are... My God, chariot with the queen of wands. This is like go-getter, right? All the eyes on you, attracting positivity, options, people in your surroundings. I see choices. You're attracting positive stuff towards you, uh, Scorpio, in this time period. And you're appearing so beautiful. For some of you, I definitely feel that there was a separation or a breakup in the recent past. But whatever it was, now you are on fire that kind of energy and uh, you are a bit uh, <laughs> you can call it sneaky but I, I see this combination as very exciting available yet not available right it's like you're attracting so many things towards you finances love passion but at the same time you're not settling down and you're very quiet and strategic when it comes to relationship because i see you have a very strong idea when it comes to relationships and settling down so this is more like enjoying and uh, attracting stuff towards you but 
staying aloof for time being if you're already in a relationship and this process is going on right now i see that something can happen and this is going to make you feel very happy and you're going to come back to your energies no matter you are in a relationship or have been through a breakup but whatever it is see we have the judgment and the seven of cups also whatever it is I see that you're not sad, you're excited about something and you're managing something at a wonderful pace. Beautiful. Okay. So let's see what's happening up uh, in the upcoming days. Of course, we're going to clarify a lot of cards, but this is a very positive combination of cards, right? We have Empress, my God. These changes happening in your life these changes happen oh knight of cups see these changes happening in your life scorpio whatever this decision was it was for your good right i see that you made a very strong decision it was a very bold move but whatever it was this has brought in some kind of energy amazing energy in your aura and you are unstoppable we have the Empress energy, you feel your worth, you know your worth now and you're not settling down, you're not settling down and I don't really see the presence of energies of other people, right? There may be a lot of people in your surroundings, I see options, I see meetings, I see dating going on, heavy dating going on for some of you, but you are not connecting to anybody right now. In a way that impacts you negatively right all i see is positive energy on the table empress queen of pentacles and two of cups my god so this is where things are changing for good and better and best right we have eight of pentacles i see that right now you are in some kind of energy where i don't know whether you're single or in a relationship but you're aloof you're spending good time on yourself, your personality, looks, beauty, you're looking attractive, you're attracting abundance, right? And you're secretive also. For some of you, this also can be sneaking from some situation to go out and party, right? So be careful about that. Over drinking, try to avoid over drinking this time period. So I see Empress, Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Cups in the upcoming days. Things are changing, right? Either I see very non-settling kind of energy right now. It's more passion, excitement and fun. And just sneaking away from anything which is causing heavy duty, right? Which, which can be burdensome. But in the upcoming days, there is an elevation in your energy, Scorpio. And th there's going to be an ascension. Empress with the Queen of Pentacles, I see your personal energies are going to be very soothing. And at the same time, I see that it's not just about knowing your worth, it's also stabilizing stuff. So you will be stable enough to handle this worth. It won't be airy, it will be grounded, right? You're going to cherish those amazing moments happening here. I see a lot of people trying to talk to you, a lot of people asking you out, going on dates, meeting people. This also can be a short-lived meeting and you felt that no. This is not the one I want to deal with. I want somebody else. You know, that can be a short-lived acquaintance. Again, going out on a date, feeling independent. It's like, you know, just exploring and not settling down. But not for long. Because I see that the moment you calm down, the moment it's like, I know my worth and I know I, what I want to settle for. That is the point you find real love. The moment you realize your worth, then you will find somebody who is going to realize your worth, right? equally we're going to clarify a few cards overall i don't really see much need of clarification because it is uh, giving me a very positive vibe i see almost all the cards yellow and yellow is a beautiful color of abundance relationship and uh, commitment also yellow so let us see the justice and i see knight of cups here so someone might be trying to come in and talk. Maybe in the recent past, there was a proposal made. But I see that, again, there was some kind of non-settling within you. What is this justice energy for Scorpio? Beautiful. 
this is your best reading scorpio okay yes there was some kind of commitment or bond for some of you i'm picking up that the initial connection was very strong between you both but when it comes to settling down for at a greater level meeting families parents and commitment there was something problematic again four of wands is there so definitely something related to relationship commitment marriage but something was non settling here fool okay you were quite ready to take a leap of faith also but then what is justice what is this justice yeah scorpio i see that you had something else on your mind seven of swords twice here and justice i see that there was a very strong idea of what a relationship is for me until i find it i'm ready to stay single i think that's the vibe here non settling down non settling energy not really settling down for anything maybe that you were almost on the verge of a commitment and then you were like no i'm not ready not ready for this thing right for some of you i see escapism for some of you i see sneakiness but whatever it was it was a strategy to escape the situation right What is this Queen of Wands? I see a, a lot of attraction. People giving you attention because you are super hot. You're appearing super hot when it comes to dating scene. My God. Okay, Devil. So what is this? Devil with the Queen of Wands. Some karma can be attached here, Scorpio. You have to be careful when you appear so hot, beautiful, fiery. This is the energy when you feel that I make. anything happen right but sometimes we tend to create karma in in such situations when we are vibrating on certain energy we tend to create karma so try not to do that or try to avoid that situation i see five of pentacles reversed there can be some heavy attachment this this can be an aries leo sag in your surroundings maybe in past this person left you or other way round someone was trying to come out of cold right there was an intent to rebuild a connection with somebody else not this person someone else maybe so he has five of pentacles in reversed devil what is this devil let's see once again page of swords i see you quietly spying here might not be saying much word yes the chapter is over the cycle is over i see some last attachments some cords maybe because of ego maybe because of anger something connects you back to that person though you feel very independent also but at the same time the attraction is still there now we have nine of pentacles your energies are changing what is this nine of pentacles energy three of swords two of cups there was the relationship bond or attachment and i see scorpio that the moment this is your energy of turning single you might uh, release a relationship or someone might release a relationship here three of wands i see you turning away from something toxic right seven of swords for some of you you are avoiding a relationship because of some love situation right there's a potential relationship marriage commitment offer but you're avoiding it because you have someone else in your mind and you have that attachment with this person right the love is intense here this intense love attraction and chemistry try to avoid karma what is seven of swords energy let's clarify first temperance you need time for healing guys i think you're not ready for it for some of you i'm picking up this definitely attraction and some kind of attention that this person is giving to you you feel worthy and you feel happy about it but you're not ready to settle down that might this might cause some kind of emotional loss for you and a big scratch for them because for this person whom you're turning down you would like a home to them i see four of wands energy is the energy where this person felt an instant connect and they felt it is the kind of commitment they want so i cannot deny that they had commitment on their mind But when it comes to you, I see you're not ready. Queen of Wands with the Devil is non-settling energy. You are the one who is turning away. Maybe for personal healing, maybe for healing from a past relationship. But you're turning away here. What is this Empress energy? Let's first see. 
queen of pentacles okay taurus virgo capricorn energy is dominating here oh my god oh my god what you're heading towards is remarkable this partnership and there's growth i see a couple here moving towards abundance and growth scorpio this this couple here is protecting some kind of growth fertility and i see motherhood also for some of you so this can be the energy of some mother figure but this is so beautiful i see some amazing partnership coming your way maybe in the recent past you were somehow struggling with this relationship it was on and off you were struggling to commit or you were healing from something but i see there's a partnership coming your way scorpio and this partnership is not a usual partnership it's power couple a power couple which is rich abundant happy and at the same time has a capacity to usher the partnership towards growth right i'm also getting a message here scorpio Scorpio, that the moment you find this kind of partnership in your life, which is not very far away, I see within two months, three months time period, something is coming up. This is going to be a spiral of growth. This partnership is going to be a spiral of growth and it will be something you have experienced never before, right? This is going to be once in a lifetime kind of experience because Queen and King of Pentacles together and they are uh, moving towards the Empress energy. So. For some of you, I see that this couple, this partnership and this this connection is going to take you towards some big growth in your life. Let's see what is this Queen of Swords energy. Wow. Don't be heartbroken or feel sad about something which is currently causing a mess and you don't want to be a part of it, right? Because I see something you're escaping here is full of karma and probably that's the reason you don't want to be a part of it. But what's coming towards you is next level. What is this Queen of Pentacles? Oh my God, Magician. You can manifest it, Scorpio. And this is your energy. You, uh, I see that the moment this person enters your life, some kind of upward spiral is going to start. Upward spiral of growth. Can you see the infinity sign here? infinite infinite abundance infinite power infinite energy what a couple here six of cups oh my god this can be passed for some of you this can be a past but for most of you i'm picking up that this is going to be a soulmate a kind of soulmate that you're waiting wow uh waiting in your life to come for some of you, I'm also getting a message that it is going to be a very compassionate relationship. This person is going to bring in stability and compassion in your life. I see presence being exchanged. Page of Pentacles. Wow. Knight of Wands. Okay. Queen of Wands. And what you have to be careful of is that this fire sign, if you are not embracing this energy, this fire sign can keep on returning, right? Despite of a very beautiful partnership, you might be experiencing that right, this right now, right? Because I see that for some of you, a relationship has started. Some seeds have been sowed. Maybe you, you cannot see the plant right now, but the seeds have been sowed, right? So you're escaping some kind of situation here, which has a potential karma. So some third party might be trying to influence you. I see influences from outside. But no matter what, you're holding on to this connection, the holding on to this partnership which you have. For some of you, it might be heavy for you to leave someone behind. It can be a fire sign who is continuously trying to influence your relationship, the karma thing here. You might feel bad about it, heartbroken, but the relationship you're about to experience, Scorpio, I pick up a very unusual vibe and it's going to be very different very different and unique wow let's have some messages for scorpio all you need to be careful here is that i see influences in and out energy trying to play around trying to have perish capacities other than your real relationship so try to avoid this energy here We have great green Tara, Supreme Protection. You are protected. Cords have been cut. 
move beyond limitation and trust so something is definitely a blockage here to realize the full potential of this partnership coming your way try not to get influenced there this is the caution i'm getting here the warning signs other than that my god freya phases and cycles there is a beginning within every ending illusions are revealed and released so the moment you achieve this independence as i say i feel as i said i feel some kind of aloof energies within you focusing more on your work pentacles and growth and not really looking into a relationship these energies are basically helping you to cut the cords with the past energies which were toxic, right? I'm quite sure that these past energies are going to keep on returning and influence your current relationship. But the cycle has to end because you're heading towards something. All I can say right now is remarkable, huge and unbelievable, right? Wow. Anything else? We have Lord Ganesha and uh, we say that Lord Ganesha actually takes over all the obstacles you're facing, right? So I think this is the devil and the obstacles and the challenges you're facing right now. This energy is going to help you take over the obstacles and move and push you towards your real abundance, the spiral of growth we're picking up here, right? Infinite abundance. Obstacles are being removed, spiritual support and connections are increasing. Beautiful. And we have Plogo Wisdom. You are, you already know the answer you seek. Trust what you know. Trust what you know, Scorpio. I see a lot of uh, gray points, gray spaces when it comes to this reading. I see some, some, some cords, some dots have to be connected. But at the same time, something is shifting in your energies and you're heading towards something which is unbelievable and remarkable, right? So try to focus on your path and wind up all the cycles which are just in and out and uh, might distract you from the real path of growth. That's the only message I have for you right now. And this is, I'm actually getting goosebumps, Scorpio. <laughs> I'm actually getting goosebumps here. Oh, you know, this is unbelievable kind of situation. But whatever partnership is coming your way within next two to three months, it has a capacity to bring big changes in your life and uh, it's going to be on the positive side, right? So these are the messages I have for you. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Bye-bye.